How's it going? This is Tim, bringing you guys the channel Daily Deals with Tim, where I talk about tech, crypto, and stock deals, all for you guys. And if you guys enjoy these kind of contents, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for me, please. Also, this is my opinion and not a financial advice. So today, we are going to talk about my favorite top three altcoins out in the market right now. So, I did talk about altcoins and ICOs in previous video, but uh, I want to discuss about my favorite ones that I have, uh, I see the potential for, and it has the potential to grow uh, a lot more. That said, altcoins are still very volatile and no one knows the future of them, and I do not have a crystal ball. So if you guys want to invest in them, please do your research first. And like I said before, research on them, their coin, their marketing team, the community, and how they function together. And that said, um, well, first of all, I'm just going to say what my favorite coin is, which is Litecoin. If you guys didn't notice, but I'm going to exclude that from it because that's kind of an obvious one. So other than Litecoin, what are my top three altcoins out there? So first one is actually a pretty recent one or pretty new, at least uh, to me. And that is NEO. So what NEO is, um, well, NEO before was called AntShare. And then they went through a rebranding and they are called NEO right now. And it's at 34.43 today. And it went down 9% today because they are a um, first Chinese blockchain. However, uh, there was a recent news that uh, there are some Chinese government regulations that limits ICOs, so they have to uh, reject some um, offers from Chinese nationals. So I think some um, some Chinese people who want to invest in ICOs in NEO um, couldn't because of some regulations, so that's why they went down a lot. However, I think this is a good purchase point. If it doesn't, well, because um, the thing is that I don't know when the price will go down even further so it's kind of a it's kind of a prediction but um, if it goes down lower I would wait but no one knows if it's gonna go up or if it's gonna keep on going down so that's something that you have to make and I have to make as well so what is NEO well NEO has this thing called a smart economy and smart economy network so they have some features um, with the let me check it out here so it is come on hello all right it is china's first original public chain as it started in 2014 and opened a github on 2015 it has unique technologies and it supports a lot of digital assets as uh so you can register transfer trade at will and neo also it has di digital certificates that are supported trusting into the public chain and protection for the, all the assets through the NEO platform. And they have a bunch of technologies such as P2P network, DBFT consensus, digital certificate, goes on and on and on. I might go more detail into this later because I am really interested in this coin. But for now, the, the hype behind this coin is that they have this thing called gas, which is a second part of the coin. So they have NEO and they also have gas. As you can see, there's Neo here at 10. They also have, where is it at? Gas right here, which is probably a little, little more than half the coin. They have the same logo. And why do they have this? That is because gas is like a reward for Neo holders. So if you hold, um, if you hold one Neo in your Neo account or Neo wallet, then you get a percentage of gas every day and it's like a dividend for stockholders. And you could actually calculate that going to neil to gas.com, I think. Yes, it is. So how many NEOs do you own? So if you own one NEO, then you can get 0 0.003 gas every day, which is very minimal, but with more NEO, it, it rises up. So that is one um, very good hype or a very good feature of the coin that if you invest more NEO, then you get more 
rewards each day. So that's one thing. Um, but I don't want to stand, spend too much time on this. Let's go to the next one. My second favorite altcoin is Lisk. So let's look at Lisk. It's at 638 right now, but um, I remember a couple months ago, it was at like $2. So it went up by almost like 350% or 330%. And as you can see, yeah, so the trend is going up and up and up. There was a big hype over here, June 10th, went up to four, and then it's going up right now like a like a madman. So what's the hype behind the Lisk? Well, the Lisk has been here for probably for a year or so. But um, the thing about Lisk is that it's a blockchain based on JavaScript. So JavaScript is um, is a pretty common computing language and a decentralized blockchain app built on Lisk from pure JavaScript and takes advantage of the Lisk APIs. And every app will run its own sidechain to ensure that Lisk is safe and scalable. So these are this uh, coin is based on JavaScript and each app has its own sidechain so that the Lisk, the original Lisk is not at at, the Lisk is not at risk to be hacked and altered with, but all the other apps will be on their own kind of in the whole world of Lisk. So that is one thing because um, that's the hype behind this coin because it is very, very scalable. It can make so many apps that are available to the public, but it's based on JavaScript. So a lot of programmers could come in here and create their own apps and programs that would support and grow this um, altcoin. So that is one good hype behind the coin. And I believe that it can go really far. And this is a pretty good investment right now. And even though it went up really high right now, it might come down I and mean, it might keep going up. I do not know. But at certain time, I feel that this is a good investment. Don't know when though. All right, so my third and last favorite altcoin is 10x. So what is 10x? So 10x actually uh, launched really recently on July 20, July 27th, uh, 2017 is the first in the coin market cap. So 10x is basically a um, form. They have a form of payment in a uh, Visa card. So if you look at their website, let's check it out. It says making digital currency spendable anytime, anywhere. So they have a video over here where they um, spend Ethereum and through the credit card. Then um, I think they go to McDonald's and they spend the 10x credit card or 10x Visa debit card. And then the Ethereum is transferred from the account to McDonald's which is pretty cool. Also, they have a rewards program for if you um, spend a uh, certain amount of, or if you spend uh, from the Visa card, you get a certain percentage back to the card. So it's sort of like a cash back. So that is the hype behind it. Um, the thing is that if you, if you have crypto in the debit card and you use it, it is an instant payment from the, the account to the, the the what's well, a seller so yeah it's a it's a uh, debit visa card blockchain so that could be a pretty good thing because um in the future there might be actually a lot of these um so now you could go from cryptocurrency to a real life fiat dollars or euros or pounds so that could be an actual pretty good investment in the beginning as for the price, it's at 422 right now. It did start pretty low, but it kept going up around here and it went back down from around five to six and then it went down to around three dollars, three fifty, and it's going slowly up, up right now. So I would say that this is a pretty good uh, investment time, but please do your own research and you should uh, you should um, take the timing where you when, when you're gonna invest. So that is it for uh, my favorite three altcoins. 
um, recap. It is Neo, Lisk, and 10x. And I'm definitely gonna do more research on them to find out what the pros and cons to them is. I, I've already done a couple, but not. I, I just feel like it's not enough. So I'll go into more details in each one of them. And if you guys like these kind of contents, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more deals on Daily Deals with Tim.